Ghost is open source software that you can use to build your website, just like WordPress. Except where WordPress focuses on flexibility, Ghost focuses on actually getting stuff done, namely publishing your content. These are my top 10 features in Ghost that I absolutely love. The first thing that's a huge quality of life improvement is the overall speed of the administration area. Want to make a new post? Click this button. Boom, you're in the editor. Need to see a list of all your posts? Click post. They load right away. No delay. Need to change the setting in your theme? Hit the gear icon, start typing theme. Boom, there it is, customize. It's open. This is all real time, I'm not editing out anything. Need to delete a post? Right click, choose delete. It feels like working on a native app. With WordPress, there's always a delay, no matter how fast your hosting is. I wanna create a new post. Host, add new, wait. A few moments later. Number two on my list is site speed. It comes out of the box fast for your end users. There's no need for extra plugins in order to make your site run quickly. Here's my demo site. It's hosted on a $6 server and it loads in an instant. Image optimization is built right in. So if I look at an article with a lot of images, they load immediately and the site feels like butter. I just grabbed this photo off of Envato Elements and it's huge, it's 8.5 megabytes. I'm just gonna dump it right into my post. Now I'll publish the post and let's check it out on the front end. Okay, here's the post, and now I'm gonna save this image back to my hard drive and we can see the difference in file size. All right, so watch this folder when I hit save. Look, it went from 8.5 megabytes to 294 kilobytes. Now that's still pretty big for an image, but it's way better than 8.5 megabytes. Since we're on the topic of images, that brings me to point number three, which is how Ghost handles images in your posts and pages. Adding an image is super easy. I can either click this plus button and choose image, or just type slash image like I'm on Notion. But what I really love is there's a built-in Unsplash integration. So I'll type slash UN for Unsplash. And now I've got a whole library of free stock photography to choose from. Here's a nice desk setup. Let me insert this into my post. There's even an image editor built into Ghost. I just click this pencil icon and I can modify things however I want. Add a filter, resize to a specific dimension, redact logos or sensitive information, and even annotate the images. This will work with any images, not just from Unsplash. Feature number four is the built-in SEO tools. There's no need for third-party tools here. Everything you need to rank highly on Google is built right in. On the sidebar, I can see my Google metadata and update the title and meta description here. As I update the meta title, I get a preview of what it'll look like over on Google. There, I cleaned up the meta description too. That looks a lot more clickable. Social sharing also looks great on Ghost. We have options to modify our Twitter share card as well as the Facebook share card built right in. Before you hit publish, you can see what the article will look like if it's shared on social media. I'll hit preview and then Facebook. And here's examples of what it'll look like on Facebook, Twitter, as well as Google. Now, I didn't set a featured image for this article, so it's grabbing the one that I set on my homepage. That's easy to update. We've got the Unsplash editor built right in. I'll click right here. I'll grab a new desk setup. And now I'll hit preview. That looks good. My fifth favorite feature about Ghost is the editor. There's no debating that this is fast and efficient. It might be my favorite word processor too. Writing in Ghost is clean and distraction free. There's a contextual editor if you wanna do things like add headlines or make things italic. And if you're comfortable with Markdown, it's built right in. Here's an H2 heading. Ghost comes with a ton of these cards. They're basically little widgets that you can easily add to any post. And maybe you wanna embed your latest YouTube video, just paste in the link and it shows up. After trying to convince myself that I like the WordPress editor and then using the ghost editor, it's really hard to go back. Feature number six is called snippets and it's actually part of the ghost editor. It allows you to quickly reuse content across different posts or pages on your site. Let me show you. Here, I've just uploaded an SVG of my logo. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a snippet by clicking this icon right here. I'm gonna call the snippet DS logo and hit return. Now, if I'm working on a brand new post, all I need to do is type slash DS and then all of a sudden I've got my logo. This works for absolutely any content or card inside of Ghost. For example, this is a header card in Ghost. It goes across the full width of the page. I can click on it, turn it into a snippet. And then during my article, if I wanna interrupt the content and ask for someone to buy me a coffee, I'll simply leave a space and then type in BUI for buy me a coffee. And there we go, it's inside of my post. Snippets rock and they save a ton of time. Feature number seven is newsletters. That's right, newsletters are built right into Ghost. There's no reason to rely on a third party. Here's the template layout for what my emails will look like. 
I can customize the design by maybe getting rid of the icon at the top or the publication title. In fact, if you want your newsletters to look like they're handwritten letters, you can get rid of all of this stuff. And yeah, you can even get rid of the link to Ghost if you want. So how do you create a newsletter? Well, you make a post. When you go to publish, you'll have the option to send it out as an email and publish it on your website, publish it on your website only, or send it only as an email. Of course, you can also preview and send test emails as well. Here's what it'll look like inside of an email client. Pretty nice. Send a test email right here. Number eight on my list is lead magnets. Now every single newsletter that you write can easily be turned into a lead magnet. To do this, make sure that you send out your newsletter as normal, but then click on the sidebar over here and change post access to be for members only. That way people will need to subscribe before they can actually read your article. It'll still show up on your website, but instead of seeing the article, they'll get a message that they need to subscribe in order to get access. And if you want to give people a teaser of your content and make them subscribe to get the rest, you can do that with a card. It's called a public preview card. And when you insert it, anything above it is publicly visible and anything below it is hidden for your subscribers. So now I can see this part of the post, but the rest is hidden. Feature number nine that I love about Ghost is monetization. You can monetize your content with no extra third party plugins. Creating a membership site or a paid newsletter has never been easier. All you need to do is go to the settings and look up tiers. Now you'll have to connect your Stripe account and then you can add as many different membership tiers as you like. You can see on this site, I have three. Then when I wanna protect content under post access, instead of members only, I'll choose paid members only or even specific tiers. Now when someone tries to access the post, they're gonna get a message that they need to be a paying subscriber to read it. And remember, you could put anything in here. You could put a podcast or a video or anything that you want to offer to your members. Number 10 on my list is maybe more of an ideology than it is a specific feature, but I love how Ghost thinks about itself. You can see right from the headline here, independent technology for modern publishing. They know who they are and who they're trying to serve. And that is a great sign from a software company. If you want to learn more about Ghost, I'll link to a video up in the cards where you can see me build a site from the beginning and see how it all works. I've also got several full length courses on Ghost so you can learn how to do self hosting or build your own content business from scratch. I'll link those down below in the description. If you have any other questions about Ghost, I love talking about it. So hit me up in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Swift and I'll see you in the next video.